Hi, my name is Mike Lakeen. I'm a digital photo artisan and I'd like to take this opportunity to provide an overview of the workshop that I'm going to be giving at the Puerto Vallarta Botanical Gardens in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico on January 6, 2011 from 11.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. You're welcome to come. I'm a self-taught photographer with over 35 years of photography experience, focusing mainly on flowers. I've taken thousands of photographs and my pieces are in collections across Mexico, Canada and the U.S. This year has been an exceptional year in that I've participated in several studio tours and had uh, four solo shows. It's also been a banner year in winning awards. I won the grand prize uh, at the Puerto Vallarta Botanical Gardens Photography Contest and I won four prizes at the Ottawa Orchid Show uh, in 2010, including a first prize in category, best in class, uh, best digital photograph of the show, and for another piece I won honorable mention in a class of 40. My flower photographs are taken everywhere. They're taken in people's gardens, they're taken in fields, they're taken beside the road, they're taken wherever I see a photograph that needs to be taken. A recent influence on my photographs has been Christopher Bean, whose book I bought, and he has been a great inspiration. I really suggest you Google him and check out his work. It's quite cool. The equipment that I use is a Canon PowerShot SX30 IS camera. It has a 30x zoom lens, uh, optical uh, image stabilization, and a variety of automatic and zoom settings. It also takes uh, quite incredible high definition video which I use to post uh, to YouTube. It's a 12.1 megapixel and uh, although it can shoot in raw mode, I currently do not. I use a tripod, a monopod to shoot and rely on mostly natural lighting for almost 100% of my shots. I very rarely use a flash. Using Photoshop and a variety of other uh, computer graphic programs, I bring my pictures into the computer. Uh, I clean them up, I crop them, I straighten them, I choose the parts I want to work on, and then I start working on them using uh, painting techniques, adjusting levels, balance brightness, applying filters and actions, and coming up with the end result such as this. Next I'm going to show you a series of uh, photographs of what they looked like when they started and what they looked like when they were finished. This particular one is the original photograph of Pink Beauty that was taken in January 2010 at the Puerto Vallarta Botanical Gardens. This is Pink Beauty after I finished working on it and it was the winner of the 2010 Botanical Gardens Photography Contest. Quite a difference between the two. This is one of the first commissions I ever did and was taken from a photograph of, uh, of uh, a triple uh, white uh, impatience flowers. Uh, if you take a look at this one, note in particular the three flowers in the center and the leaf that uh, bisects over the third flower on the right hand side. This is what I turned it into. It's called Silk. You'll notice that the flower on the right hand side no longer has the leaf. I've rebuilt uh, each of the petals uh, by hand in Photoshop and from it created uh, the piece that I call Silk. It was produced in a limited edition of uh, 10 of which uh, number 10 remains. This particular piece is a beautiful hibiscus flower that was taken at the Franklin Conservatory in Columbus about four years ago. I worked on it for almost three years trying to come up with something until finally last year I was able to produce this. And this is called French Ruffles. It became a limited edition of 10 and I'm currently selling number three. This was taken on the rooftop gardens of the Via Blanca in uh, Las Muertos section of Puerto Vallarta. Beautiful little uh, uh, quad uh, set of flowers. Uh, you'll notice that the one on the far left has a fair amount of damage on it. From this uh, picture I created, 
this one. This one is called Pinka Colada and was named uh, by someone in Prescott who suggested the name when I placed the picture on Facebook. It will be offered in a limited edition of five and will be produced on uh, a large canvas of probably 30 by 36 inches. And finally, my inspiration, my backyard. Thanks for your interest in my work.